Hello everyone! Today we'll be doing some makeup. Make sure you have a clean face. Let's get started! So the first thing I need to address is the elf ears. They are headphones. <laughs> um, the second thing is I am doing primer right now. Um, I'm not actually using primer because my primer is like super dried up, but this is an acceptable substitute. It works the same way, sort of, just not as well. I really like it. We'll see uh, how it does during the rest of the day, but moving on to eyeshadow next. The Rainbow by Violet Voss is the first palette we're using, and we're using the shade Flamingo, and that's going all over both of your eyelids, slightly above your crease as well. Next, I went ahead and put it under both of my eyelids, so on the bottom part of my eye, just all over. We're gonna be using at least two more colors on the bottom of your eye, so don't worry how the pink looks too much at the moment. So for this next part, you're gonna need uh, either some tape or maybe a post-it. Uh, definitely not an important medical document like uh, I'm definitely not using. So whatever you decided to use, you're gonna put it from the outer corner of your eye all the way towards your eyebrow. And using the black eyeshadow, I used Eclipse from the Violet Voss palette. Um, you're going to do a straight line towards your eyebrow. And then once you finish that straight line, you're going to go towards your the inner corner of your eye over the pink that we've just put on. So next is just blend everything. Uh, starting with the black, blend inwards. And then once you get to the pink, it doesn't matter which direction you blend, just blend them together. Um, if Don't worry about if too much color comes off because we'll be putting more color on later. <laughs> Why do I look so mad about that? I'm so mad that I'm showing you this Hada Beauty palette. It's so pretty, I'm mad. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, you're taking, um, it's for me, it's the top left color. Um, for you, it would also be the top left color, but it doesn't have a name. Um, I'm putting that on the outer corners and going inwards. So I'm using, it's like a dark purple and I'm going over the black and over the pink. And I am sort of like, I'm trying to create like an ombre effect and go inwards. I told you this shade would be back. It's the same shade from earlier uh, called Flamingo from Violet Voss. So go ahead and go over the pink shade that we originally did, but don't go over the purple shade that you just did too much. Um, you can go over it lightly, but just like very lightly like you're blending. So going back to the Huda Beauty palette, you're gonna use the bottom middle, the lightest shade in the palette, and you're going to go over the first third of your upper eyelid and the first third of your lower eyelid, the inner corners. Woohoo, it's time to use a new palette. We're using the Alchemist Holographic Palette by KVD. I really love this palette and it's discontinued and I'm heartbroken about it. Um, I finally hit pan and I am gonna try to get some online maybe, I don't know. It's really old, I don't wanna get an eye infection. Um, but with this one, we're using the pink shade and we're going over the same part that you just did. You can go a little bit less, like don't go as far, but the same idea. After that, use the flamingo pink one more time in the middle of your lower lid and we are done with eyeshadow. Taking a brief break from the makeup to show you the crying baby. She's not crying anymore, she's purring big. She's happy now that she's up. <laughs> but she's a goofball. Okay, bye, Petal. <laughs> okay, next is eyeliner. It can be kind of tricky if you're not used to it, but don't panic. You have a ton of options. So the kind I'm using here is called liquid liner. I am using the felt tip, but they also make brush tips. There's a whole bunch of other types of eyeliner you can use if you don't wanna use liquid eyeliner. You can use gel eyeliner that comes in a small pot with uh, an angled brush. That one's my second favorite to liquid eyeliner. There's also pencil eyeliner and like, not like a marker eyeliner, but it's like a different version of a pencil, the kind that you don't have to um, sharpen. That one is better than pencil in my opinion. 
So I've been doing these tiny little strokes to do my eyeliner. For me, I find that's the best way. If you want to do it in one swoop, you can, but I really like to do the uh, small lines because I feel like it gives me more control over what I'm doing. For the wing of the eyeshadow, I use those small strokes again and I go along the edge of the eyeshadow that we just did. Uh, if you didn't have any eyeshadow there, you could just aim towards your eyebrow or follow the line of your eye. Okay, so next is mascara. Hi, Paddle. Um, she is making her second appearance of the video. Thank you. So uh, with mascara, I just hold the mascara wand to my uh, top eyelashes and just blink. You have to be careful that you don't blink too hard, but it does work very well. The Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. is my favorite primer. And then my favorite foundation is from Morphe, um, but honestly I haven't really been using foundation that much lately. Now in this video I do my setting powder and then my blush, but I definitely would recommend doing them the other way around. And I'm leaning back and making a weird face because I'm trying to not get fallout all over my shirt. It's weird, but it helps. Yay, my favorite part! So I used to hate blush when I was a teenager and now it is just, I love it so much. It's so cute and I recommend it for everyone. Last, I'm using the Animal Crossing lip gloss from ColourPop and that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye friends. Oh, 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 o